Hello, 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 hello. Welcome everyone to this uh, presentation where we want to, to solve some selected questions and um, um, GCE exams uh, for the year 2022. And in this case, we are trying to look at paper one. It, this exam was written on the 10th of August. All right, so, so in case you'd want to get in touch with us, you can contact us on these numbers 0978 56 58 76. This is for Mr. Piri. Or 09796738 for Mr. Bondo. Any of us can uh, help you. All right, so 2022 GCE. Which question should we sample? Which question should we sample? This one. The first one we are saying evaluate. Evaluate is to find the, the final solution. <clears throat> Five, the part three by that. If you want, you can expand this. You can break it down times one over. Two five by five, all right. So as simple as that. So these and these ones will cancel. Therefore, I've got G, one times five, and the answer is e, it's five. It's five, just like that. It's very simple. Or you can say this is five to the power two times three, five for this one, times one over five to the power two. So this and this will divide. This will give you one by five and the answer will be five. Or alternatively, you can say, or you can say five to the power five divided by one, um, times one over five to the power two. Okay. All right. So if you want, you can say when you multiply five to the power three by one, it is five to the power three divided by five to the power two. Since we are dividing, this is the same as five to the power three divided by five to the power two. And the rules of indices demand that you maintain the base and subtract the powers if at all you are dividing. And uh, this will give us five to the power one and five to the power one is five. All right. Um, okay. Let's look at um, another question. Uh, a piece of wood measures 25 centimeters long. Find the upper and lower limits. Okay, to find the upper limits, you know upper limit is equal to the, the measurement given. Measurement plus absolute error. Error. All right? Now, what is our measurement? Our measurement given is 25 centimeters. Plus, what is our absolute error? This one we don't know. So we have to find absolute error. So absolute error for any one number is a 0 0.5 centimeters, all right? Or there's a formula which we say absolute error is equal to least unit of measure times C half. So in this case, for any whole number, the least you can measure is one times C half. And this is 0 0.5. All 
So meaning that we are going to say 25 plus 0 0.5. The answer here will be 25.5 centimeters as our, our upper limit. Then lower limit, lower limit is the measurement or the dimension plus absolute error. All right, and our absolute error is 0 0.5. Here it's supposed to be minus. So 25 minus 0 0.5. So this gives us 24.5. So here we are done, 25.5, 24.5, all right? B, one T, percentage error. So percentage error, is equal to absolute error, error divided by true value times 100%, all right? So our absolute error is 0 0.5. The true value is 25 times 100%. Okay, so uh, what does it mean? This gives us, so when you multiply, when you multiply uh, 0 0.5 by 100 percent, it will be 50 percent. So I've got 50 percent divided by 25. And this is 2%. So that is our answer. So the percentage error there is 50, is 2%. 2%. All right. What's the next question that we can sample? Um, okay, okay. Which one, which one, which one, which one? Which one, which one, which one? Um, okay, the other question is, is about um, the length. Find the length C, A, B, given these points. Length is distance. So length of A, B. Okay, or we can say, Length of AB is defined as x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Everything we find the root. So supposing we have two, you know, supposing this is what we have, seven comma nine. We can name this as one and this is as two. This is x, y, <coughs> x, y, all right? Implying therefore that our length, length of AB is equal to what X2 is what? Seven minus X1 is two plus Y2 is nine minus negative three square. Everything we introduce a root. This is four to the power two plus nine plus three. Well, negative with a negative number to give us a positive, we can square this. So this is the four squared plus 12 squared. Everything is square. This is 16 plus 144. All right, so you have a problem. You can easily do this. Remember, you don't have a calculator. All right, yeah, I've got that. So this is uh, 10, 6, 9, 160. All right, 160. So
Yeah, we've got 160. So, yeah, but you can check if you are, doing, um, if you are able to find the square. If you have a problem, if you have a problem, you can multiply that. You can say this is 16 times 10. But this one is your answer. <laughs> But um, you're making noise. All right, so this can be square root of 16 times square root of 10. This is four square root of 10 units. All right, if it's not a, a, a perfect square, even this one is all right, it is correct. It is correct. So just get your points. Check what we've done here. We say this is one and this is two. So using the formula, we're saying x2 is seven, y2, y1 is two, which is this one. I hope you are following. Then y2 is nine minus y1 is that, right? So, Take note, oh, okay, 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 okay. Take note, uh, seven minus two is a, a five. Oh, okay, this is a five, so we need to be careful. Uh, so we can collect that, it's a five, the five. So this one will give you uh, nine plus three, which will give you 12. So this is five. And five squared is 25. Okay, meaning that, uh, okay, we can check this. So I'm not even an exam. So what I'm just to, to check, you can easily leave out some values or just write wrong values. It's better that uh, you are writing under, under pressure. All right, so, <clears throat> so what we have, we have um, 25 plus 144. Okay, so this one will be very easy. So I've got uh, 144 plus 25. This is 169, all right? 169, 169. And the square root of 169 is 13 units. So this one is your answer, right? You can easily do that. Okay. That is the length. Then the second question is saying, find the, the gradient, find the y dx. <clears throat> okay, so to find the, the y dx, the y dx is the same as differential coefficient for the derivative. All right, differential coefficient or the derivative or the gradient of the function of the curve, the gradient actually of the curve. Yeah, so we are saying for y is equal to 4x to the power 3 minus 3x squared plus 5x. So to find the dy dx, which is changing y to change in x, Okay, we're going to say uh, just a minute, I'm struggling to write. A uh, change in y to change in x is equal to multiply the power with the base. So it will be three times four times x. Then the power is less one minus, the power here is three, uh, two, so two times three times x, two minus one. Here the power is one. So it'll be plus one times five times x, one minus one. 
So 3 by 4 is 12 by x is 12x. 3 minus 1 is a 2 minus 2 by 3 is 6x. Six 6x six six plus 5x to the power 0. 12x squared minus 6x plus if you wanted here, you can you know, maintain the time. So this is five times. X to the power zero is a one. Implying that you have got 12x squared minus 6x plus C5. So this is what we have. All right? That's what we, we have. Thank you for watching. Please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. In case you want to join us, we have got lessons very intensive lessons, GCE, uh, GCE lessons at 500 watcher per month. We teach you online and it's very effective. We teach you as if you're in class, uh, we expose you to everything that you need to prepare for the exam. So if you're you wondering as to how the 2023 GC exams will be, please contact us, we'll be able to guide you. All right? Now, we also have the grade 12, G12 internal at 500 quacha per month per person. All right? In a group of about 10. Then you have got G9 at 500 kwacha per month per person. G9 external at um, 500 kwacha per month then we also additional mathematics Mathematics at six fifty per month per person. Okay, so if you are willing or if you are ready that we help you, please contact us on those numbers that I, I indicated in my introduction. Okay, in my introduction. All right, these numbers. Okay. That's where I'll end for this presentation. Look out for some more videos. Okay. Shalom, shalom. And may God bless us all. Thank you.